Take you a shot of the uh, Azure drive system. My motor mounts made from scratch. Okay, so this is what's going down with the motor mounts. This is what the uh, what it looks like from underneath. Pretty much hanging from the, uh, at the stock location. This is where the original drive uh, unit was located. Uh, it's just a lot smaller. This thing is. This is the best Azure. As you guys know who follow my site, I'm all about the Azure traction drive system. The AC90. This is the AC24. You guys know the AC90 is what's going in my stuff. But I'm really excited about it because this gives me a chance to um, play around with Azure systems. Um, the controller. The controller will be located right here. So obviously I'm going to have to fab up a mounting plate for that. Um, I was originally called into the project um, for the hydrogen cell, of course, because, you know, I'm the hydrogen guy. Um, so uh, the, um, Mike, the, lead, the project leader, called me and he said, hey, we need help uh, with the hydrogen augmentation of our genset. Um, Mike didn't know that I knew how to weld and fabricate, so that's an added bonus. I mean, the car was basically, it just been stripped. Um, nothing had really been done yet. So everything I'm showing you here, the relocation of the motor and the battery boxes, which is uh, the, the biggest part of the fabbing, um, I did that, and that's kind of a bonus. He didn't expect it kind of deal. So I'm really happy um, that I was able to contribute to the project. You know, um, I'm happy that I was able to put my welds in this vehicle because obviously you know, all you fellow welders out there know, you know, um, that welding is a very, it's a, it's a zen thing, man. It's, you know, you can identify a person by their welds. So, you know, my work is in this car, and it's going to be seen by thousands and thousands of people. You know, so I feel very honored um, to have been given the opportunity to do the fab work on this vehicle. Um, so the controller's going here. You know, we've we've started, you know, figuring out. Um, we've already determined that the wiring is correct, the length and everything. Um, the car itself, I man, I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, this is definitely not the way the smack rolls. Um, a three-wheeled um, fiberglass, I mean, you know, I don't know. I'll try to shake this. I don't know. Can you see it? It's all fiberglass. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's not real sturdy. It's not really the way the smack rolls. I like, you know, my old steel, you know, like the Corvair, you know. But it's still, the concept is totally on par with what I'm doing. So, you know, there'll be some changes. There'll be some... Uh, different style gauges for battery management and whatnot. Like I said, there will be cameras mounted up in here um, to monitor in the rear. You know, we'll be seeing what's going on. There's going to be a partition here of clear um, acrylic to separate the passenger compartment from the gen set and the uh, traction drive system. So, obviously, a lot of body work to be going on. We got this has all got to be cleaned up. You know, but that's that's minor. We're just trying to lock in the drive system right now. So, we're real close, you know. Um, I've just got to, I'm going to mount, uh, use the uh, shock towers here. Uh, we're going to be mounting the airbag system. It's going to be pimping. It's all chrome. Um, it's just two airbags, obviously, but they're fast bag air valves. And I've got two sets of valves per side, so you can't have air transfer from one bag to the other. So, this thing will be really stable, you know what I mean? So and it's got a built-in uh, stabilizer bar um, from from the factory anyway. So it should be a real stable ride with the extra weight. I'm really psyched about being able to adjust ride height. Um, oh yeah, one more thing. The, the part of the design about with the with these um, square tubes that I put in, I was very very concerned about um, uh, obstacles, you know, curbs that we didn't notice, you know, anything coming to hit this battery box you know I mean that would be bad if we hit that square on so these four square tubes that I put down here are designed to deflect any obstacles up and over um, the the bottom of the um, the battery box I mean it's still gonna hurt like you know a son of a gun but it's better than taking a full flat on square hit so basically and that's the idea that I had there with that front skid plate right here too is the same thing ramp off the uh, the obstacles you know so basically what I'm I'm envisioning if uh, you're in a parking lot and there's a big speed bump and you take a speed bump 
you know, square hit right in the middle there that it won't do any damage to the batteries. So, so that's what's going on, man. I mean, I've been pray, you know, I've been preaching the EV thing, and uh, here it is. This is a dry run for uh, for the uh, the Corvair project, and um, this is pretty much the direction that my um, DP Engineering is going to go in now. It's going to be all about EV conversions. Um, I'll just briefly go over this real quick. Nothing's proprietary here. This is all open source stuff. This is not the generator that's going uh, in uh, in the vehicle. This is just a test generator. Okay. Um, and this is even though the quad is awesome, um, we've got a special cell, uh, a little bit different construction that's going into this. But the, the quad. Uh, it's just it's just a test um, to verify. Okay, we're going to be running some. Um, we've got a graduated fuel cylinder, and we're going to be running some fuel consumption tests. But this guy right here puts out uh, four liters a minute with 40 amps. Um, and like I mentioned before, real quick, the gas quality when you ignite this stuff, um, like on the old Gen ones and Gen twos, the flame is kind of yellowish. This thing burns a white flame. I mean, and we're talking like paper white, white like this, that, in, um, you know, hydroxy, hydrogen flame should be clear. So the fact that it's a white looking flame, that means that it's pure. Okay, there's no water in it. It's it's a pure flame. And what I'm saying is a lot of bang for the buck here in, in this quad unit. So it's basically the prototype. You know, it's, it's just like the regular quad. It's, it's two, uh, the regular dual unit. It's two dual units side by side. That's all it is. Real simple. But I got something for you guys. Yeah, this is this is just this is Gen 4. We got a Gen 5 coming, so check on the site. Keep checking back because it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. The Smack Quad, four liters a minute, 40 amps. The Zap Zero Team Project, Azure Dynamics, recognized. One and only Smack. I'm out of here.